Education TV. How are you all doing? Of course, it's another Wednesday right here in our studio. In fact, in the world as a whole, did I just say studio? It's another beautiful Wednesday. And of course, it is the 19th of July, 2023. And you know how I do it here every day. I bring you the education news updates, activity updates, international day, and of course, one of our dailies, which is one of our daily newspaper. We come here to review on it every day but today i will be bringing you the education news updates and one of the dailies newspaper there is no activity update for today and there is no international day today or just maybe i might not be getting it right in case you know of any international day that i am not talking about do well to go right there in the comment section and drop it now before i proceed into our headlines for today let's quickly Welcome to Crystal Education TV, your go-to source for informative and engaging content on a wide range of educational topics and events. Whether you're a student, a parent, or an educator, our programs are designed to inspire, inform, and entertain. Okay, here yeah, are the headlines as they were published in our dailies. I'll begin with the legit, and then the first story here says it has become a major crisis. 137 Nigerians sent abroad on federal government scholarship refused to return home. Now, I think I should read the story in details. The Executive Secretary of the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, that's text fund, Sonny Echoho, has cried out after over 137 scholars sponsored abroad by the fund refused to return to Nigeria after completing their studies. Speaking on Tuesday, July 13, before the House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee, Echoho had said it has become a major crisis when Nigerians who enjoy scholarships for higher education abroad refuse to return to the country, the cable reported. Now, tell me why I should, if, you know, if I'm the one outside the country, why should I return to Nigeria? Imagine the huge mess we had today. No, I wouldn't want to even come back. So that's not even a problem. Nigeria is in deep mess right now. Nobody wants to come. In fact, people that are here are looking forward to leaving the country. So I don't know how you, how the government intends to settle this issue, this crisis. They target a major crisis. Well, I think, however it is. Then moving forward to the next story is 2023 admission list of federal universities that have announced cut off mark selling post UTME forms. Now, just in case you apply for any of the federal universities, some universities already have announced their cut off mark. Now, do well to go straight to our website at www.crisaedonews.com. .com.ng, go straight to the website, click on this headline to read in details to know if the federal university you applied for has announced their cut off mark. Now moving forward to the next newspaper which is the Daily Trust. The first story here says education text fund moves to suspend foreign scholarship. I think this is also in line with the first headline I read about, about students abroad refusing to come back now this is saying education text fund moves to suspend foreign scholarship well it is what it is like i always say and then we have a story also that says governor bago set to hike tuition fees for state-owned institution the nigerian state government has disclosed plan to increase tuition fees at the state-owned tertiary institution to adequately and effectively fund it the permanent secretary, Niger State of Ministry of Tertiary Education, Science and Technology, Dr. Musa Abubakar Sadiq, made the disclosure in an interview in MENA. Now, I know the economy is not smiling, smiling right now. It is biting hard on everybody and every sector, the education, the agriculture, the transportation, every sector is feeling this heat. Now, I think the school's increase of tuition fee will not help right now personally my opinion because people are already finding it hard cost of living is already rising people are finding it hard to survive already now you want to increase tuition fee i wonder how we are going to survive and there is no increase in salary no increase in minimal wage nothing is increasing rather the cost of living is 
on the high side so tuition free increase of tuition free is not a good idea for me right now but then it is what it is now moving forward to the next newspaper is the tribune power poly alumni raise alarm over institution land encroachment now to read the story quickly go straight to our website and then we have a story skill deficient graduates ban of unemployment in nigeria education expert Education experts has identified yearly turnout of graduates without proper skills from various institutions of learning across the country to ban of geometric increase in unemployment rates. It was observed by the experts in attendance at the 2022-2023 graduation ceremony of the Royal Spice Academic Ibadan on Tuesday. Now to read more on that quickly go straight to our website. The, the next story is coming from newsnow.com and then the story here says Foy Price Hike. COEASU direct lecturers to go to work two days a week. <laughs> okay, I think I think I should read the story in details. The College of Education Academic Staff Union, COEASU, that's COESU, has directed members to henceforth report to work for only two days a week following FOI subsidy removal by the federal government. The union which explained that life has been unbearable with members since the government action insisted that members can only work two days a week until the government meets its demand for salary adjustment. Now to read more on the story, quickly go straight to our website. Well, for me personally, I think this is not a good one. This is not a good one at all. Now you directing lecturers to go to uh, work two days a week. It's not a good one for students at all. Now education is a very, very important. In fact, it's not. Uh, it's not. It's our right. It's our right. We have the right to education. Now it's part of the constitutional rights. Now I think this is not a good one. Government should do something about it. Text form to suspend foreign scholarships. Blame CBN for forex crisis. Now to read more on that quickly, go straight to the website. Nigerian Police Academy to introduce faculty of education diploma in police science. Now in case you want to go to um, police academy, the Nigerian Police Academy, now they are introducing the faculty of education diploma in police science science that's also also a good one labor party law makers returns as physics teacher gives reason for action labor party law maker returns as physics teacher give reasons for action now that's the final story here today on the education news updates just in case any other headlines caught your attention you know what to do quickly go straight to our website it's always good to read stories in details before you start an argument with anybody don't just listen to the headlines you need to go into the story read more on it to know what this is all about before you criticize or applaud anybody now it's a good place to call it a wrap now before i call it a wrap you know how we do it we'll bring you one of our daily that's one of our newspaper and I'll be coming in with the newspaper immediately after the break. This is Emisi Olomo Shidara uh, making this live video from Ibadan, Limetu precisely, and one of the lucky winners to the giveaway organized by Crystal Education Media for subscribing to their YouTube channel. Uh, at first, I was thinking it was the usual audio giveaway that is uh, parading uh, the media. Um, but this morning, to my surprise, uh, to my shock, I received uh, the sum of 3,000 naira from them. Uh, fortunately for me, this is my first time I win any giveaway on any platform. And so I'm super excited and I'm saying a big thank you to Crystal Education Media uh, for this invaluable gift and also telling my viewer at home, whenever you're watching this video, that uh, it's not a scam. At first, I said it was a scam. Uh, so. Go to your YouTube channel, subscribe, and who knows, you could be a lucky winner too. Uh, once again, thank you, Crystal Education Media. Um, to viewers at home, like I'm, I'm going to say again, uh, please go to their YouTube channel and subscribe. And <laughs> don't be surprised, you could also be a lucky winner. Thank you very much. Welcome back from that very quick break and I'll be taking the stories from the Vanguard newspaper today, the 19th of July 2023. And here are the stories making it in the Vanguard newspaper, Russia, Africa Economic Forum, speakers to discuss development relations on the global change. And then oil exploration, Nigeria's weak cost crisis 27.7% to 14 reports. 
Ogu Customs intercepts 194 cartons of narcotics, bags, scrans, anti smuggling award. And then we have a story also that says CBN and CBE set up Nigerian Egypt fintech bridge. And then 32 years old drug addict strangles mother to death in Ogun. And then we have a story also that says government attack Enugu police station, cut away ants. Then man destroys Catholic church property after drug overdose. And then we also have a story that says Ondo NSCDC arrest members of syndicate involved in buying selling bank account. Tinubu orders NDLEA to fish out killers of two years old boy in Delta. And then we have a story also, which is the final story in the Vanguard today, that says anger as petrol price hits. 568 naira per litre in Lagos, 617 naira per litre in Abuja, others. Now those are the story, some of the story making waves in the Vanguard newspaper today. And just in case any of the headline caught your attention, story caught your attention, like I always say, do well to get a copy of the Vanguard newspaper or go online to read the stories in details. Now, before I call it a wrap, I think I should talk about some of the stories that caught my attention. Now, let's talk about drug abuse. Now, the rate at which people are abusing drugs is alarming, and I think the government should do something about it. Now, youth are beginning to destroy themselves with this with this drug, with this illicit. People now do anything, strangle their mother, strangle their girlfriend, do things stupid because of drugs. So, I think it's wise we are urging the NDLEA to do something to step up their game to come more into action to see that youths do not destroy themselves with this drug abuse and then the final story today that says anger as petrol price hits 568 per liter in Lagos and 617 per liter in Abuja now this is bad I don't know what other words used to qualify this but I think Nigerians are suffering too much already we are going through stress, cost of living is increasing and then source of income is not increasing like our salaries are not increasing and then things in the market are increasing, transportation are increasing, everything is on the high side and then Nigerians are becoming frustrated. Now I, we are urging the government to see that they do something. At this point palliatives are not even enough. To save the, to help the situation, to save the situation, palliative is not enough. I think the government should bring more transportation, release buses, buses that will carry people from place to place at a cheaper price, and then also to see find a way to salvage the economy, like the market. Now, when we go to market to buy things, things are increasing because the cost of transportation to transport that goods they buy from the market back to their place of selling is also on the high side. Now, these are. Um, the cry of Nigeria and you know what we are we are the mouthpiece of night of the people we come here to talk we come here to tell the government how the people are feeling and what the people are saying just in case you have something to say or to add to what I've said so far or you have any of the headline you want to comment or quickly go straight to our um, the comment section and drop your opinion in the comment box it's a good place to call it around today i'll do this again tomorrow credit to my producer behind the camera mr femi credit to the source lady herself miss Stella. credit to the cco of the company credit to our video editor credit to our app manager no other person but py live credit to you all for watching credit to my co-presenter in the house lizzie credit to my humble self i'll do this again tomorrow thank you for your encouragement thank you for watching stay with me and have a nice evening